I mentioned Joseph Eastman, the, uh, perhaps the originator of the Chelsea Clock Company, but it really didn't come into being until the beginning of the 1900s when he was already uh, off the scene trying to make money in some other kind of clock business. But the Chelsea Clock Company may be one of the best-known uh, and most uh, important clock companies in the country, and the only one that still exists to the present day. They're still in the original building in Chelsea, Massachusetts. They're still making the same kinds of clocks that they were making more than 100 years ago. If you're interested in knowing more about the Chelsea Clock Company, and particularly if you're going to start collecting Chelsea clocks, my good friend Andy Demeter and his son published this book about the history of the clock company, as well as uh, providing you with a lot of information about the many styles that Chelsea Clock Company has made over the years. The, um, we're going to talk about their ship's bells clock in a, in a separate clip because they're worthy of additional attention, but just to let you know, too, that Chelsea did make many other kinds of clocks, including great banjo clocks like this one. You probably can see that this is not a full-size banjo clock. This is what's called a three-quarter size, but very high quality, uh, nice marine scene here, good patriotic motif in the throat. Chelsea indicated here, as well as, as we've talked about, private labeled for Shreve, Crump, and Lowe, that high-end jewelry store in Boston, which sold quality things like Chelsea clocks.